Well, my wife was on the way to work one day. She was listening to her favorite radio show. We both listened to it and I was on the way to work as well. So I heard her when she was the ninth caller and winner in a contest. She made sure to mention that she was a huge fan of the radio host. And even if I didn't know her at all, I'd say she was smitten with him. Of course, I was a little angry, but I didn't bring it up with her because I thought I might be overreacting. She could have just been excited she won the contest. Of course, as her husband, I assumed she was taking me with her to the concert she won tickets to, so I was excited too. She let me keep thinking that. But in the weeks leading up to the concert, she was actually texting and visiting with the radio host, forming a relationship. One day when I thought she was at work, she was actually at the radio station for a tour and time spent one-on-one -on -one with App. A teens, they got time completely alone in the lounge, and that's when my wife sacrificed the sanctity of our marriage. She didn't care about me. I know all this because the day before the concert, she told me what happened. She said she was leaving me for him and taking him to the concert with her. I told her fine. Expectors, I didn't want to continue our three-year marriage anyway, knowing she slept with someone else, but she needed to get all her stuff out of my house right away. She refused and told me she would do it after the concert. It really started to sink in that she was giving up our marriage for this guy, and I couldn't help but think that App didn't know how serious she was about him. It was happening so fast. I told myself I wouldn't have time to be upset before App dumped her, but that didn't mean I would take her back. While she was gone, I threw all her stuff out and actually put about a quarter of it into a bonfire. But when she came back the next day, it wasn't to pick up her stuff. It was to try to patch things up with me. She told me she regretted what she did and needed me to forgive her. I convinced her to tell me what was really going on, which was that Ape went back to his usual life and didn't expect to have her as his girlfriend. She assumed they were starting a relationship because he slept with her, but he only saw her as a one-night stand and free concert date. Then he stopped talking to her completely. I think she expected pity from me and a second chance, but I just laughed in her face. I told her she messed up, quite obviously, and she'd better think of a way to get all her stuff off my property, or I'd start using it for fire fuel. She thought I was the one being ridiculous, believe it or not, so I called over her parents and her brother, even though she didn't want them to know what she did. I told them everything, then asked them who they thought was more justified they all sided with me. My wife couldn't believe her brother didn't think she should be forgiven. I laughed and laughed, but I think it was part hysteria. Her family mentioned that they had no interest in speaking to her for the time being. I then found out that she started harassing the radio host. Then she found out where he lived. She was arrested, and he got a restraining order against her. I think she was losing it because she realized she gave up our marriage for this guy, and all he did was use her. I think that's pretty good karmic effect right there. She left me like I was worthless, and I meant nothing, and he gave her up the same way. My wife continued having pointless relationships like that for years to come. 
after she married me, she couldn't find a second chance at marriage, no matter how bad she wanted it. I was glad it seemed like men were somehow sensing she was bad news. It turns out there's a reason for it. The radio host talked about her and told anyone who listened to avoid her. She became almost like a Karen-type celebrity, known for being someone you wouldn't want to get close to. I knew I deserved a better wife and spouse than that. Oh, I am sorry your wife gave herself away so easily, not very long after committing herself to you for life. It seems she's far from mature enough to understand what it means to commit to someone and actually follow through with vows of loyalty. She behaved like a disposable party girl to that radio host, and he knew that's all she was good for. Some lessons in life come unexpectedly, but you handled yourself really well in this case. You knew you had to divorce her even though you expected to have your life with this woman. Anytime you be with her, you think of what she did behind your back and how she gave you up. I hope anyone going through something similar would find the strength within them to stand up and separate themselves from the cheater just as you did. I can ensley any woman should know that she's only deserving of the commitment and respect she gives to the men she's had in her life. You have such good common sense and I know you'll find and keep a good relationship with someone else. Ever let a cheater think they can walk all over you? Now let's get on to our second story for today. Was my wife, 26 female, and I, 27 male, weren't very fond of social media. Our relationship was very simple and pleasant. We were married for four years, and the only platform she started using was Google Docs for work. She was really good at helping people and enjoyed writing articles related to relationships or pretty much any other life question. Etchen, I didn't know, but she started talking to a man daily without even having to log into a social account. My wife had a contact that worked with her on a few different things. That's when she decided to talk to him about the sexual fantasies she wanted him to fulfill. She knew she couldn't afford to get caught. She largely depended on my income to survive. She was careful to never have anything incriminating on her phone. She knew that was one of the most common things people used to cheat, so she was always very open with it. She would leave it unlocked on the counter, or I'd find it sitting beside me on the couch. She spent time on, spent time on her computer, but it always seemed like she was working because the main thing she had opened was whatever document she was working on. Our sleep schedule randomly started to change. I fell asleep earlier while she stayed up late. This went on for two weeks, even though I wanted it to stop and I was trying to stay up later. One night my wife dropped something and it scared me away. I pretended to fall back asleep quickly so I could listen to what she was doing. I peeked at her computer when she got back on it and it was a document as usual. But this time I was close enough that I could see there were two different colored text cursors and she would laugh and giggle every now and then. Then I heard something hit our window. It sounded like a small pebble. I couldn't believe it. I, I held my breath while my wife opened the window and started whispering that whoever it was shouldn't be there. She closed the window quietly and snuck outside. I followed behind her after about 30 seconds. 
I watched from around the corner as she spoke with some men. I had no idea how or why this was happening. They talked for 15 whole minutes, but I couldn't hear anything from where I was, so I went back inside to look at her laptop. I read what turned out to be a chat between two people where my wife told him what she wanted him to do to her. She just didn't count on him showing up outside her window. When I heard the door opening, I bolted back into bed and my wife closed the bedroom door as quietly as possible. I didn't believe there was any way she'd sleep with the man. That while I was sleeping under the same roof, I got down on the floor by the crack so I could watch. I could just barely see the couch. I saw their pants drop on the floor and both their legs disappeared. I heard him ask about going into the bedroom, but she just said it was a cluttered mess. I didn't think of grabbing my phone to record. I just threw the door open. My wife screamed and the guy tripped out the door without his pants. As he ran, I yelled after him to ask how he knew my wife. He didn't answer. I went back inside and asked her how freaking stupid she could possibly be. I stared at her in disbelief. She said she was really sorry and explained that he was her writing partner and he just showed up without permission. She felt bad for him and let him in to hang out, but he was the one that made her take off her pants. Oh, I told her I was watching them when they got to the couch and their pants came off simultaneously. I also knew what her computer said and that she was going to extreme lengths to hide her affair. Plus, she must have told him where she lived, expecting or wanting him to show up. I asked her why she told him her fantasies and if I wasn't good enough. She didn't know what to say and only looked a little sad like I stubbed my toe. She said she still loved me and asked if we could go to bed and talk about it in the morning. I freaked out, asking how she could still love me if she was sleeping with someone else. I told her I was absolutely not going to bed with her ever again. And it wasn't until I said that she was finally starting to see how bad this was. When I told her she needed to leave, she was shocked. She asked if she could just write me a coupon to sleep with another woman. There was no way that was a healthy solution, and they'd honestly never consider it. But I wanted to see how she'd react if I took it, so I said yes. She was surprised and smiled weakly. She wrote me one, and I turned it into her right away, saying I wanted to sleep with her best friend. Jess? She was shocked and started questioning if I had feelings for her all along or what. I asked why it mattered if she had the gal to sleep with App right under my nose as I slept in the other room. It looked like she was finally starting to see this from my perspective. She apologized more sincerely, but I told her I didn't want her apology. That's the fact that she didn't consider me or know how important her loyalty was disturbed me beyond repair. I asked her if she ever slept with someone else without my knowledge, and she looked away. I instantly knew she had. She confessed to sleeping with someone she met at the grocery store. I could not believe this. I told her she was a stupid waste of time and I hated her. I packed my bags and left. I drove to her friend's house because she had already confessed her feelings to me months before but I never spoke to her because I was serious about my wife. 
after I got in her bed. I called my lawyer. My wife showed up to her friend's house three days later, losing her mind because she wanted me back. I could hear her yelling at Jess downstairs to let her in so she could tell me what she needed to say. I came down to prevent it from escalating. She told me that, that she didn't realize how important and irreplaceable I was to her, that no side man could replace the love I gave to her on a daily basis. I was pretty sarcastic and heartless, even when she started crying so hard her lip trembled. I didn't feel anything for her once I knew she slept around. By the time our divorce was final, I had moved in with Jess and my life has been much better ever since. T, I can't believe how sleazy your wife was by telling her writing co-worker her fantasies, where she lived and failing to mention she was married. Then actually bringing him into the house as you slept for no other reason than to have sex right under your nose. Then on top of all that, she admits to sleeping with another man in the past. She's a lousy excuse for a wife. As with her given record, she does not deserve to have a man commit himself to her. But is it so hard to accept that a woman must earn the respect and care that a man gives her every day? A woman should never feel like she deserves to be treated like a queen unless she's treating her man and no other like a king. Not only that, any friendship or communication with other men should be open and free for her husband to read or know about. It's not about whether your spouse trusts you or not. It's about having honesty and transparency in the relationship. Your spouse should know about everyone you know, because you're a team that has made a commitment. A commitment to each other. I know you did the right thing by divorcing this woman. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you all for taking the time to listen to today's stories. If you enjoyed listening, please feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, comment below with your thoughts on what happened.